XRP is the main thing, which is why $10,000 to $20,000 per XRP isn't that far away after all. Just a few months ago, the managing head of Little Capital said in public that XRP will be worth more than $10,000 once it is used all over the world. This video is one you don't want to miss. We can see the big restart or black swan event happening right in front of our eyes as institutional investors look for ways to get back into DeFi. Plus, we all know what the XRP ledger is. At the time, the CTF token or the crypto trading fund is on the ledger itself. It is a DeFi decentralized ledger made up of some of the biggest and best DeFi tokens. Just a few days ago, five days, in fact, BlackRock and Vitality, two of the biggest global investment and financial institutions, decided that they wanted to apply for an XRP ETF. They joined nine other financial institutions in this project because their report came out and they thought that the application process for XRP would start on April 12th. There is no set date for when it will be turned in, but we do know that the XRP ETF is in the process and that these big global banks are in charge of the XRP ETF project. If BlackRock submits an XRP ETF, it has a 99% chance of being approved. So if they do, it is a sure thing that it will be approved. These changes happen at the same time that Forbes says XRP will be worth $100 to $200 in three weeks. It's big news, but again, all of these big business outlets are telling us that something is going on behind the scenes. There is a big event happening right now called the Great Reset or Black Swan China starting to accept XRP is the most important sign of this. This story, which came out just hours ago based on a leaked report, said that China is planning to push XRP and Bitcoin to new highs now that Hong Kong SFC has approved a Bitcoin spot ETF. An XRP spot ETF is also expected to come out soon. Imagine that China, which was against cryptocurrencies and wanted to ban them everywhere, went after crypto companies and said, we want XRP too. We actually talked about this a few months ago when we announced that China would be partnering with Ripple Labs in a big way. We talked about how behind the scenes, Ripple was working closely with the Chinese government to integrate XRP into their financial system so that Chinese yen could be paid for things with XRP and then used to pay for other things across borders. This was going on even though China was blocking and banning XRP on the front end before. We go into all the specifics we need to let you know about a huge XRP gift. Yes, we are giving away up to $100 worth of free XRP to everyone who clicks like, subscribe to the channel and share this video. You also need to sign up for Apple using my link in the description and make a transaction. The transaction could be as little as a penny or as much as $10. As long as you do this, you will get up to $100 worth of XRP that you can use to buy more XRP in any other cryptocurrency. You won't get the cash though. With the help of Ripple Labs, BlackRock will be testing how their backend works with the digital asset XRP for some of their transfers. This is not my writing, it is Robbie Mishnicks. He used to work for Ripple and now leads BlackRock's digital asset space. He was the only one who orange-pilled Larry Fink. What does this really mean? The company BlackRock is going to use XRP to make payments, which is why they are going from being against XRP to being fully on board with it in Ripple Labs. And more importantly, even Congress, which is run by financial institutions through lobbying groups that only give money to congressmen, is starting to make it even clearer that they support Ripple Labs and the XRP digital asset. As we saw earlier, BlackRock has decided to start the XRP ETF application process. We also read that a report that was leaked showed that they do own some XRP, and this clip made it clear that they will start using XRP. Uh, up to this point, the game has been started by the biggest person who could start the game. You don't think BlackRock will lose too much, do you? Without a doubt. I actually had my doubts at first about whether or not Larry Fink was really orange-pilled. You know, I kind of thought he was jumping on board because there was a chance to make a lot of money and they could be early. I then asked Scaramucci the same thing you did. He said, listen, I talked to this guy in the lobby of a Four Seasons a few years ago and he asked me why I was into Bitcoin. He said, it's a scam, it's a joke, why would you even bring that up? There's a reputational risk. He then said that Mitch Nick started working at BlackRock and really deeply orange-pilled him and now you listen to Larry Fink talk about it. He gets it just like you do. This means generational wealth, and right now is an early day for getting money through generational wealth. Of course, if you look at it, the CTF token is very new, with only 2,000 holders. It's up about 1% today, but the market as a whole is down. Of course, it's staying put, going steadily into the green with only 2,000 holders. Share this video and subscribe to the channel with your present times on. I'll see you in the next video, and don't forget to follow me on all of my social media sites. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Rumble because I post all the latest news there first, like this one, for which I'll soon have a video. The first server says that XRP and XLM and XLM are the only digital assets it can use to process payments in the payment system, so get ready. I'll see you next time.